tragically, he was assassinated on November the 22nd, 1963. How was it that you were in place to, to go on the air so quickly that day? Uh, well, I was in place at the, in the newsroom, the CBS Evening Newsroom, uh, from which we broadcast the evening news, uh, all day, every day, uh, unless I was called out by CBS to be doing something else during the day. But I had lunch right there at the desk. I never, I never went out from 9.30 in the morning to evening, you, most days. And I was there that day. Uh, and uh, when the five bells rang at the United Press machine, uh, our, uh, uh, our news editor, uh, uh, the, uh, Eddie Bliss, uh, was over at the machines, tearing off copy from the machines. And he yelled out, he said, uh, the UP got a bulletin, shots rang out in Dallas today, the president going by, and of course, bulletins started pouring in, the motorcade broke up, and his, his car was on the way to the hospital, and then Parkland Hospital. Well, as soon as he shouted that out, why, well, I shouted for Don Hewitt, our producer, who was back in the back room, and, uh, and uh, we immediately said, let's get on the air, let's get on the air. We couldn't get on the air. We didn't have any cameras there. Cameras were brought into the newsroom just in time to get warmed up for the broadcast, which would have been six hours later. But what we could do was go into an announce booth we had uh, in the newsroom and get on to the air, uh, to the television air with a slide and, uh, you know, CBS bulletin and, and my audio reports. So we did. We did that. And for about 20 minutes or so while they got the camera up and got it warmed up and in place, uh, we were on the air with audio bulletins only. Uh, and uh, uh, I think the time was 12 or 14 minutes, something like that. Uh, and we, I was doing a running story on, by uh, an audio. Mm -hmm. And then we were able to get on the air and I went out and slid into my, my regular position for the evening news and we carried on from there.